Okay. All right, so I'm going to play this game again. Excuse my um my hair. I'm having a bad hair day today. And uh, I'm going to play this game again. Every time I play these games, I get anxiety. Because obviously, I don't want to get killed. But, alright, here we go. Prepare five genera generators to power the two exit gates. Open one of the two of the exit gates by holding down its switch. Leave the trial area. Meanwhile, the killer will be trying to locate, ca catch, and hook survivors in order to sacrifice them to the entity. Even though survivors are vulnerable, they have a very useful set of core abilities to hide and escape from the killer. This guy will help you how to use them. Uh, we highly recommend consulting the killer section of this guide to fully understand the extent of their abilities. The exit gates. When five generators have been repaired, the exit gates power up and become accessible. Their positions will be temporarily revealed to the survivors. To open the gate, its switch must be held down for a few seconds. This is a crucial mo movement as we'll head straight for one of the exits. Oh, as survivors are exposed and vulnerable during this time. There is a good chance the killer will head straight for one of the exits as soon as they become powered. Once the gate is open, survivors can go through and escape. Survivors may also choose to stay in the trial and help other survivors escape. Taking the risk to stay for others is in need is a great way to earn uh, more blood points and a good reputation. Alright. Survivors, how to win. The primary objective of a survivor is in a trial is to escape. In order to do so, survivors must complete the following steps. Repair five... I think I read this, right? I think I did. Survivor's health state. Survivors have three health states, healthy, injured, and dying. As a survivor, here's what each health state means to you. Healthy means survivors start their trial in this state. Receiving damage while healthy puts survivor into the injured state. Well, that's pretty obvious. Uh, injured. While injured, survivors will bleed and grunt, making them easier to track. Though an injured survivor limps, their movement speed is the same as when healthy. Receiving damage while injured puts a survivor into dying state. Dying. While in the dying state, a survivor's movement is limited to a slow crawl. A crawling survivor has two options. Recover as much health as they can or crawl to find help. Without the aid of specialized perks, a survivor cannot recover fully they will need another survivor to finish killing them as crawling survivor can be picked up by the killer and brought to a sacrificial hook. Oh, that's good to know. Dying. The killer downed. The killer downed you and left you to crawl in the dying state. It's not over yet. While in the dying state, survivors slowly bleed out. The bleed out process can be seen below the player's status icon. 
Dying survivors can see the auras of their teammates and vice versa. Dying survivors can use their teammates' locations to determine whether they should move or attempt to recover. Without the aid of specialized perks, a, supervisor, a, survivor, sorry, a, su a survivor cannot recover fully by themselves. They will need another survivor to finish healing them. Stealth, avoid getting detected. Survivors are very vulnerable and have few methods of fighting back against the killer. To avoid being caught, they should start by learning how to hide. Basic st strategies can include crouching behind obstacles, finding cover in tall grass, tucking into the dark corners, or getting into lockers. However, to avoid detection, survivors must gain understanding of the killer's heightened senses. Scratch marks, running, scratch marks. Running is louder than walking, but the real downside to running are uh, to running are is the trail it leaves behind. These uh, scratch marks can only be seen by the killer. They disappear after a few seconds, but the trail they leave can lead the killer straight to a running survivor. Loud noises. Some actions, such as window vaults, can be performed. Uh, window vaults can be performed quickly or slowly, depending on whether the uh, the run button is held. Uh, rushing these actions creates a loud noise notification that the killer can see. Beware that these actions will give your position. Blood stains. Injured survivors leave a trail of blood that is visible to all players. Survivors bleed regardless of whether they are walking or running. Blood stains disappear after a few seconds. Crows. Uh, crows are servants of the entity. What a fucking bitch. Survivors who start, startle them or get too close will cause them to crawl, to call loudly and take flight, which can tip off an attentive, attentive killer. Sorry, there's flies in here. We don't have uh, screens, so I'll keep on waving them off. I fucking hate flies. Okay. Fail skill checks. A fail skill check will create a loud noise notification for the killer. Be very careful after failing a skill check. Consult the killer section of this guide for more information on the killer's abilities. Alright. Detecting the killer. Most killers are quite large and easy to spot. However, survivors have a few extra situational awareness advantages they can use to increase their odds of survival. Third person view. Survivors have a versatile third person person view that allows them 360 degree situational awareness. It can also be used to look around corners or over obstacles and locate the killer without being seen. Terror radius. The killer's approach is indicated by a heartbeat. As the killer gets closer, the heartbeat gets more, in more intense. Experienced survivors can use the terror radius to accurately determine the distance between themselves and the killer. Hmm. All right. The stain. The stain is an eerie red light emitted in front of the killer. It is especially good for quickly determining where the killer is looking. Okay, the stain. It says it's an eerie red light emitted in front of the killer. It is especially good for quickly determining where the killer is looking. If you are in a chase and see the stain bathing your character in it, in, in it it's Okay, if in a chase, in a chase and see the stain bathing you, your character, in its red flow, don't panic, it's too late. Okay. Skill checks. While performing actions such as repairing, healing, or sabotaging, sabotaging survivors will periodically trigger skill checks a skill check is a quick challenge that requires the player to tap a button at the right time there are three possible outcomes for a skill check good skill check the button is pressed when the red light is within the outline zone known as the good zone a good skill check allows the action to resume without penalty great skill check uh, the button is pressed while the red line is within the field zone, known as the Great Zone. A great skill check allows the action to resume and grants a small bonus towards in progress. Fail skill check. The button is pressed when the red line is outside the good or great zone. 
or the button is not pressed at all. Failing a skill check creates a great deal of noise and penalizes the action's progress. Survivors should always be focused and ready for a skill check to appear. They will hear an audio cue before a skill check is triggered. Man, there's a lot of shit that goes into this game. Repairing generators. The first step to complete in order to escape is to repair five generators. Uh, there are a few things to keep in mind while doing so. Generator loca locations. Generator locations are randomly selected before tr the trial, so they cannot be simply memorized. To find generations, I mean generators, survivors can try looking for the flashing lights above them to listen for the sounds of a partially repaired generator. Killer patrols. Killers can see the auras of unrepair and penalty repair generators. When not engaged in a chase, killers will often patrol the generators searching for survivors. Skill check. Survivors should be listening for the skill check audio cue while repairing generators. Uh, filling a skill check will cause the generator to explode, which sets back the repair process and alerts the killer. Careful repairs. Repairing a generator takes time. It makes noise that can, be att can attract the killer. Survivors need to be on their guard. It's a good idea to plan one or more escape routes in case the killer approaches. Damn it. The escape. Once five generators have been repaired, a level Y siren will alert all the players that the exit gates can be opened. Survivors will only be shown the exit locations for a limited time, so they will need to remember where they are. Many survivors have been caught at the end of the trial searching the, the perimeter of, for the exit. Damn. Mm, altruistic action. Survivors can increase their chances of escape by taking care of each other. Here are the main actions that can help. Healing. Survivors can heal each other even without a medikit. Hook rescue. Survivors can rescue each other from the hook and prevent the sacrifice. Shoulder rescue. Survivors can attempt to, bl to blind or stun the killer to make them drop a carry survivor. Though it is possible to play an escape as a Lone Wolf, it can be more difficult once the other survivors have been killed. Okay. Yeah, because you'll be the only one left, and he'll be after you. Chests. Chests can be found during the trials. These chests contain helpful items such as medikits, toolboxes, and flashlights. Searching a chest is a somewhat noisy action that can be completed fairly quickly. An open chest has already been looted and is usually empty. Sabotage and cleansing. With the proper items or perks, survivors can sabotage the killer's tools. Strategic sabotage can be useful and even save lives. Sabotage hooks. The hooks found around the map, but not in the basement can be temporarily disabled with, with, by sabotage. A sabotage hook can be used by the killer until it is, it is repaired by the entity. Sabotage tools, killer objects such as the trapper's bear traps can be permanently destroyed by, by sabotage. Cleanse, cleanse totems, cleansing is a specific interaction done on totems. Cleansing a, to, a totem destroys it and disables any hex. That has assigned to it. Cleansing does not require any perks or items. These actions generate a great deal of noise. Will not will notify the killer when they are completed. Okay. Cooperative actions. Certain interactions can be accelerated through cooperation. Cooperation, including healing and repairing. Cooperation comes at a cost. However, as a larger group can be easier to spot by the killer and generate more opportunities for fail skill. Checks that could endanger the entire group. Tutorials. Chases. When the killer gets too close, it is time to run. Here are some things to keep in mind about chases. Killer speed. Most killers are faster than survivors, and in long and in a long chase, long chases they will gain even more speed due to bloodlust. Consult the status effect section of, of this guide for more details about 
bloodless. Vaults. Survivors can vault over win windows and pallets very quickly. Killers uh, traverse these obstacles slowly so they can be used by survivors to gain distance. Break line or sight. To, su to survive a chase, a survivor should try to break line of, of, of sight and head in a direction the killer does not expect or cannot anticipate. Pallets. Pallets are objects that survivors can throw down in order to put the uh, an obstacle between themselves and the killer. Killers can be stunned by, by dropping a pallet on them directly. Pallets can only be dropped once after each after which they can be vaulted by survivors or destroyed by killers. Keeping these points in mind will help you make it out the chase a lot. Okay. Wiggling. In order to sacrifice a survivor, the, the survivor, the killer must pick them up and transport them to a sacrificial hook. During this time, the survivor can wiggle the 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 hinder, the hinder and the and hinder the killer's movement and attempt to escape his grasp. A successful grasp escape puts the survivor right back on their feet and stuns the killer briefly, giving them a narrow chance to escape. Ugh. Hooks and sacrifice. The ultimate goal of the killer is to sacrifice survivors to the entity. Once a survivor is hung on a sacrificial hook, the sacrifice sequence will begin. It has three phases. Phase one, summoning phase. In this phase, the entity is being summoned to the hook and takes some time to manifest. Hook survivors can be rescued or attempt to free themselves from the hook. These attempts have a 4% chance of success. And a failure as, as, as and failures accelerates the summoning process. Four percent chance. That's like nothing. Oh, phase two, struggle phase. Once the entity has manifested on the hook, the survivor can no longer attempt to free themselves. They can only fight to survive. They may still be rescued by other survivors. So basically, your fox. The entity will eventually empower a hook survivor and devour them. The hook itself is destroyed at the end of the sacrifice sequence. A survivor who is rescued or escapes from the hook will progress to the next phase. The next time they are hooked, for example, a survivor who was freed in the summoning phase will progress immediately to the struggle phase. The next time they are hooked, a survivor who was freed during the struggle phase, a hook and hooked again will be immediately sacrificed. Dude, this game is too much. Items and add-ons. Survivors have access to a variety of useful items. Yeah, yeah. Only one item can be equipped and load out, but it can be customized with up to 10, up to two item, item add-ons. Item use is limited by its amount of chain charge which is indicated by the bar next to the item icon on the HUD once it has been fully de depleted the item is consumed along with its add-ons if a survivor dies during a trial any carry items and add-ons uh, add are lost if a survivor escapes any items they were carrying along with their add-ons will be banked in that survivor's inventory so I have to read all this shit cuz this game is kind of difficult. The hatch. The hatch is a secret door that offers an alternative way for survivors to escape. The hatch appears mysteriously and is usually closed and locked. A survivor with a skeleton key can open the hatch for themselves and their fellow survivors. The hatch will also open in the event that there is only one survivor left alive in the trial. Okay.
It says black points are earned in trials and have and are used to unlock rewards in the blood web. Your performance in a trial determines the amount of blood points you earn. Okay, cool. Whatever. What's the killer? Sounds of the Wild, a skill killer is attentive to the audio cues made by near, nearby survivors. Take great care to listen for heavy breathing, footsteps, cracking branches, crying, uh, cawing crows, or the sounds of the survivor's actions such as killing or sabotage. Using these audio cues additionally might lead you straight to the survivor. Bloodstains. Chases. When survivors are located by the killer, they usually attempt to run and hide. The pursuit that follows is called the chase. Most killers are faster than a survivor, but survivors are small, nimble, and have many tricks they can use to gain distance, but put obstacles in the killer's way and break a line of sight. The killer's goal is to... Okay. What is bloodlust? A chase progresses. Killers develop a boiling bloodlust. Bloodlust is a status effect that grants the killer... Increased speed. Bloodlust becomes stronger than the longer and longer the chase continues to a maximum of level three, indicated by three chevrons on the status effect icon. Oh man, dude, these, these guys are like vaults and pallets. Vaulting is the uh, action of going through a window or over a pallet. Survivors can can vault a window slowly and quietly, or quickly and loudly. But running straight at a window, survivors can pick up some extra speed for their vault. Most killers are not in a hurry and only have one window vault speed slow. Pallets are found around the map and can be dropped by survivors to create obstacles for the killers. Uh, for the killer, killers cannot vault over pallets, but they can take time to destroy them by interacting with them. Survivors health state. Survivors have three, I already know that. Attacking. Okay. In interrupts. Many service actions can be interrupted, giving the killer a free grab and pickup. To initiate an interrupt, tap the attack button in a, in a, at close range while the survivor is occupied. Injured survivors can be in interrupted while vaulting. Launch attacks. Okay. Transporting a survivor. Cooks a survivor. Huh? No, because I'm supposed to read this because it is complicated. It's possible. Okay, so I'm going to play as a survivor. Okay. Okay, I'm a, I'm a victim, right? And there's going to be a killer looking after me. I could choose my... I'm going to look that... I'm going to level one. No, I'm going to pick this guy. It looks like you. It looks like you. <laughs> he has nothing. I have no point. I do it. Okay. Let's get him a let's get him a a hat. Oh, he has one of those make up America great again hats. <laughs> oh, let's get him a shirt. Uh, I'm gonna make him look really weird, like a redneck. There you go. No, this one. There you go. And then his pants. Fucking some dirty ass pants. There you go. He looks like a Trump supporter. <laughs> he looks like a Trump supporter. Okay, let's go back. 
And now we just wait. Oh, here we go. Just wait. Here we go. I'm ready. Oh. Ooh, I'm scared. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm scared. I don't get it. Oh. What do you mean you don't get it? It's loading. Here we go. That's me. If you hear a heartbeat, it means the thing is close. The killer. Run, bitch! <laughs> Cause he's after me. Can you hear the heartbeat? <laughs> no, nope. he's still after me. He's seen me already. Right there. Run, run, run. You got me. Can nobody help me, please?
I'm not. This is scary. Look, he got me. Sacrifice. They kill it. It's killing everybody. Go, you better run. coming. He's coming for you.
again. Why is it in that bell? Like the end one? You almost got it. You almost got it. Good job.
behind you. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. That was a good game.